This week we head to South Utica, an area known as Uptown. This was a rapidly growing community at the turn of the last century, as people spilled out of the city and into the suburbs. Back in the 1940s, the Uptown area of Utica, New York was the booming part of the city. As a matter of fact, a railroad went right straight through here, the uh, West Shore Railroad. But to me, I remember more my walking along that very railroad bed from my home on Seymour Ave all the way over to the pool. And it went right through here. If you look really closely, you can see that the sidewalk was laid right on top of the railroad ties. And over here where my foot is, there's the original railroad track. I had been coming to the Uptown Theater from the time almost that it was opened. My dad would bring me here once or twice a week to see a movie. And if my memory serves me correctly, it was in this theater that they had the first big widescreen cinemascope. Uh, and maybe it was the Ten Commandments. If anybody out there remembers, let me know. Uh, I still come here even now. Today the theater features new releases like the movie Up. It also has special events. For example, our good friend who was featured not too long ago, the illusionist Leon Etienne is going to be here on June 20th. So come here for a movie or a special event and visit this uptown landmark. Don't miss the new, astonishing, critically acclaimed production by world-class illusionist Leon Etienne. It's The Art of Magic, this Saturday at 7 o'clock. Call the Uptown Theater for tickets, 738-0377. This area has become a hub of the local music scene, and at the center is Valley Music Supply. This August, the Uptown Utica District presents the Uptown Get Down, a showcase for local musicians. I have never been musically inclined, but I found something here at Valley Music that I actually can play. It's an egg Z and it just, you do this and that's all. Now I got some rhythm, I guess. Also in the Uptown Plaza is the longtime hobby shop, Uptown Automotive. You won't find planes, ships, or trains here. This is a model car shop for car nuts. With 50 years of experience, owner Jim Amato knows cars. He also does custom work and is known in the model car world as the plastic surgeon. Well, a lot of people like to have a model of their specific vehicle, and especially around here when you can't drive the car 12 months of the year, the car is put away so many months of the year, they might want to show someone what their car looks like, or a lot of people uh, build a model of their own car or have a model built to take with them to a car show. And could be the styling, could be uh, what uh, the mechanical end of it, it could be that Dad had a car like that, it could be we saw a car like that when we were growing up and something we always wished for and never had. There's any number of things I think that attract people to cars. We have here uh, an informal uh, club meeting every other Wednesday night. It's kind of neat because we share ideas and information and some people have a specific skill they can share with someone else and if someone's building something and they have a question they can ask the rest of us. And it's kind of neat because we share ideas. And then our bigger organizations and uh, model shows. We have uh, an upcoming uh, model contest at the Munson Williams Car Show in July. With so many cars, we asked Jim what's his favorite. I like Duesenbergs. I like 427 Cobras. And I like Chrysler letter cars. Mm -hmm. I like straight eight Buicks. I like too many cars. That's why I do what I do. Back in 1909, Henry Sturgis helped found the Utica Suspender Company. When the company moved from downtown Utica to uptown, it began manufacturing its own webbing. The material is now used in the automotive, firefighting, military, and mountain climbing industries. My memory of this building goes back into the 1950s. When I walked down here, I was walking to a bowling alley, and I spent many an afternoon here trying to break a hundred, but uh, never succeeded. Back in 1944, Sturgis Manufacturing set a world record because back then they had manufactured two million rifle slings that were used during World War II. Today they are known around the world for their performance webbing material. Take this for example. Do you know what this is used for? It's used by mountain climbers and it is stronger than steel. 
Uh, the company was originally founded as the Utica Suspender Company in 1909. In 1919, the company moved to the location on Sunset Avenue, and that's when it became Sturgis Manufacturing. Now Sturgis is a producer of webbing and strap assemblies for various applications. Uh, we consider ourselves having two customers. Our, our, some of our customers that take the webbing that you see here goes in bulk to their facilities. The other webbing goes next door to our, our main facility where we do all of our strap fabrication for customers. So we either provide webbing in bulk to customers or complete strap assemblies to customers. Most of the industries that we serve are the automotive, firefighting, safety, mountain climbing, and the OEM uh, customers as well. You would find our straps on probably your local fire department. Uh, a local fireman would have maybe a possibly a chin strap on him or some of the straps that go on the air tanks for the breathing apparatus. Automotive you would find in the, in the trunk of the car. There's, we make a few straps for the jack retention as well as battery retention straps as well. Uh, the business was originally founded by a gentleman by the name of Henry Sturgis. Once he retired, my father's stepfather took over the business and he retired in 1992. In 1992, my father became the president of the company, but he originally started in 1973. I became involved in the company in 2001 and my job at the time was to develop new industries where we could sell our products. The, the area is what I really like about here. I, the, the area is a great area to be in and I found that this would be a nice opportunity to you know, continue on the tradition and so forth.